Hi, I'm Doc Stoner with XSA International, and in this video, I'm going to discuss with you the basics of understanding blood loss in a patient and the signs and symptoms you can expect to encounter while you're treating a hypovolemic patient. The human body contains approximately 5.5 liters of blood. Now, blood is responsible for keeping the tissues in your body alive by providing oxygen for them. A lack of blood means a lack of oxygen to your body. Compromised blood volume levels are potentially life-threatening, and it is possible to bleed to death in as little as two minutes if you've severed a major artery. Arterial bleeding is identified by squirting bright red blood, whereas capillary and venous bleeding is identified by oozing and pooling dark blood. Arterial bleeding is extremely life-threatening. Two to four pints, or one to two liters of blood loss will result in disorientation, shock, and or death. Familiarizing yourself with approximate volumes of blood loss in a patient is a valuable skill in evaluating a patient's level of consciousness and survivability. So how can you consider this? Well, when you go to donate blood, the vampires at the blood bank take a pint of blood, give you a package of cookies and some orange juice to compensate for the mild level of shock that you may experience. Now this is what one pint of blood looks like in situation. This is 10% of your body's blood flow. A patient with this little blood loss will likely be fully conscious and functional. Few physiological changes will occur, such as a change in heart rate or blood pressure. This is what one liter or two pints of blood looks like in situ. This represents 20% of your body's blood volume. A patient who has lost up to one liter of blood will still be conscious, however they will likely show signs of disorientation. The early stages of shock may be visible, such as increased heart rate, an increase in the diastolic pressure, pallor, cyanosis, diaphoresis, and hyperventilation can be expected as well. Now this is what two liters of blood looks like. This represents 40% of your body's blood volume. Now, with the loss of two or more liters of blood, expect to encounter severe signs and symptoms from your patient that include mental confusion, anxiety, a loss of peripheral perfusion, and that's indicated by a lack of capillary refill. Now, cold, clammy skin indicating shock is a definite understanding that some blood loss has taken place, okay? Expect a drop in systolic and diastolic blood pressure with this much blood loss, as well as an increased heart rate. Very important, with continued severe blood loss, the patient's pulse may become unpalpable, meaning that you can't feel it at all, and you may not be able to get their blood pressure at all. Now the body is inherently redirecting its blood supply to survive, so it's giving that blood to essential organs like the heart and the brain to guarantee its function survivability. Beyond this loss of blood volume, one can expect increasing mortality rates as time goes on. Regardless of the amount of blood lost, it is vital to stop the bleeding completely before moving on to the next task. Only once the bleeding is stopped can you make an assessment and plan to counter the effects of the blood loss and begin to treat that shock. Now remember, blood loss is the single most preventable cause of death in a tactical environment. Being prepared to treat life-threatening bleeding is as simple as carrying a couple of tourniquets and a pressure dressing in your kit. Who knows, the life you save just might be your own. I'm Doc Stoner with XSA International. Thanks for watching our videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, stay safe.